name is Katie and welcome back to Heritage Ways. I have a treat to share with y'all today. I am visiting, Little Miss Homemaker and I are visiting some, well, not new friends. I mean, <laughs> new and real life friends. But I have um, learned about them through Instagram. And on Instagram, uh, they are Whistler's Tuck Outdoors and, and Homemade Home 7. This is Dustin and Janet Morgan and y'all live in the Ozarks. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful here. It's my first time to come here. It's beautiful. We drove this way uh, for a YouTube meetup, which you can see a video about here. But since I was in the area, I wanted to take advantage of placing an order with Dustin. And I want to tell you more about what he does and why he does it and where he does it and all that. But what do y'all think this is? I love this. This is our custom ordered toilet paper holder for the RV. But when I, and I love it. But when I picked it up, I re he mentioned it could be a paper towel holder too. So mm -hmm. that would be great. So we might um, use this on a picnic table, um, you know, when we're camping, put that outside and our toilet paper will just have to sit on the floor. For, but. <laughs> Dustin and Janet both do custom work and they have an Etsy shop, mm -hmm. which is, can you tell us the address? Yes, our Etsy shop is thewhistlingwoodsman.etsy.com. Right. And I'll put a link in the comment section and also I'm writing it down here on the bottom of the video. I really want them to tell you more about their shop, the things they make by hand and their lifestyle. Well, we're happy to be able to tell you guys a little bit about us and our home and our life. Um, we started making items for the home several years back. Well, really since we've been it's married. It's really developed and grown and uh, we focused more now on um, just items to let you really enjoy the outdoors, the cabin life, and um, just a lot of old-fashioned pleasures and uh, like getting outside and enjoying the great outdoors. Well, I've started out uh, when I was about 12, I guess, I got into metalworking. And just over the years, you know, turned out and started making all kinds of different things. And when we first started our online shop, that's what I put on it was pretty much everything. So we figured out, uh, it took us a while to figure out kind of who our clientele was and so we had to um, discontinue a few things and gear more towards a certain lifestyle with our products and that is uh, the, the outdoor lifestyle and the off-grid slash cabin slash back to the land simple lifestyle simple lifestyle and so when you go in our shop now that's what you'll see is is items that uh, would fit that way of life and some of them are very single use but quite a few of them are quite versatile and you'll find anything on there from jewelry to uh, heavy campfire cooking gear to different wall racks you can do anything with. You can put them in your shop, closet, bathroom, you name it. And you'll see a few things on there that were custom orders. There would be items that I don't make and carry in the shop, but you can see the different, uh, like different requests from certain customers. Um, it's usually something along the lines of what I do make but it may not be something that I actually carry. And we welcome those kind of um, orders. We really enjoy getting to do something special for someone and getting to talk to them about what they really would love for their home. And it's not just the metal work. There's, uh, there's actually some crochet from one of my daughters on there. There's woodwork, uh, wood carving. Well, one of our new things is our bark backpacks, which are really amazing. Are beautiful, versatile, and very sturdy. Um, I really feel like our business reflects our, our lives in a lot of ways. Um, we purposefully keep our lives simple. We purpose, purposefully uh, get along with less so that we don't have to be separated, so that we can spend time together at home instead of pursuing climbing the ladder or, you know, rushing around just to make ends meet. We don't have as many things as a lot of people, but that's on purpose. We really enjoy being able to be a family together and uh, you know we have to work hard and things aren't always easy things aren't always perfect but we feel so blessed to live this sort of you know picture you know storybook type life together 
I mean, I would say that. What about you? I'd say that's a, a very real description, and there's a lot of people that would probably agree that it is a storybook life to the point that it is almost unreal or something you expect to be a show. Uh, they just there's so so many people that would just automatically think that that's totally unrealistic. You can't actually do that in today's world. And the uh, problem with that is it's wrong. You can do this. Um, I I stay at home. I wake up every morning and and pretty much decide what I'm going to do that day if I'm going to do anything, <laughs> which occasionally happens. I just take off and go canoeing or something uh, but I'm just gonna be blunt here what most people um, don't understand is when, when they see this and they want this they they choose to uh, they want to leave behind the rat race they want to have a simple life and they actually do that the problem most of them have is they leave simple out of it mm -hmm. you know and especially nowadays when there's you can have you know all kinds of fancy um, expensive solar energy gadgets and you're talking about you know you can nowadays you can have your your hilltop cabin still have those beautiful views and you can get water and power there it just takes a whole lot of you know uh, technology and money so so you have people that and some of them are perfectly able financially but you have people that want to get away from just city life say uh, the nine to five get out and live simple and they don't they get out all right but they leave simple out of everything they do they uh, I'll just give you an example one time my dad was uh, was uh, hosting a chair making seminar and one of his students, uh, without saying his name, was the owner and of a large sunglasses company, very expensive sunglasses. His headquarters was in uh, uh, California. His research and development was in Italy. Um, he drove a 1965 uh, Aston Martin. Uh, so this guy came to my dad's class one time and part of dad's class is being out in the woods cutting the trees and making the parts for these chairs and one day while they're out there doing this this guy just opens up and starts talking about how much he envied dad and how much he wanted the simple lifestyle the family life family time that he had and <laughs> my dad put his hand over his mouth and nose and stopped his breathing for a minute and just kept talking to him like it was normal or something and the guy started fighting to get away and after a bit he got away where he could breathe again and daddy said see there when you want it as bad as you wanted that air you'll get it and uh, we see a lot of that also and the reason I'm saying we see a lot of this is because I've lived this way all my life and I've seen innumerable people uh, want to make the change I've seen a lot of them make the change for a simpler lifestyle and a lot of them that just cry and wish and wish and cry and don't because they feel too tied down where they are or they're just afraid to take that big of a step or they're just not there yet financially or whatever the case may be. Our take on it, you know, you have to want it. You have to want it. But if you're going to do this, you have to be comfortable to things that are not common at all and in some places looked down upon and uh, you have to be used to people looking at you like you might be a little strange yeah you have to get <laughs> used to the concept of people wondering if they should call you in because you're just weird but you what we have is is awesome but it takes it takes sacrifice but more than that it takes uh, you might call it denial you know it takes uh, uh, we don't we don't have a huge income that's true but we don't need one so that's something my parents taught me it's not living this way it's not about how much you make it's about how much you have to have in other words how much you're spending so if you're not spending much 
you don't need to make much. End of story. <laughs> uh, when I was a kid, and this was, um, I'm going to say 25 years ago, uh, put a, just to put a time frame on it, but when I was growing up, my family, uh, meaning my siblings and my parents, and there was, uh, at the time, there was eight of us children, mom and dad, so that's ten people you're talking about, lived on about $75 a week. Didn't have any cars, didn't have any car payments, didn't have any land or house payments. All that was free and clear. We used horses, we traveled with horses, we worked with our hands and worked with the horses. And uh, that's what it takes. If you want simplicity, go back and define the word. You have to, you have to be willing to do without to do this. Thank you guys so much for visiting with us in our home and for giving us the chance to let you know a little bit about ourselves and uh, we hope you visit our shop and uh, here's a little sample of some of the things that we have now and that we carry often. Um, I guess until next time or next time we, we see you. Bye. <laughs>